The day started off in a normal enough fashion. I had to teach an afternoon class and later was going to get together with some artist friends. My friend, the painter, Kurt Sompson, was back for his annual gig cleaning outdoor sculptures in the city. And we had planned a reunion of sorts at a Vietnamese restaurant in Chinatown after we were done our respective labors. I had heard an interesting story on NPR that morning that, though dispiriting, actually made me feel better. Scientists have found that contrary to what we have always believed, human performance does not follow a bell-shaped curve. So it isn't true that some people are great, most are average, and some are terrible. It turns out that a few are superb and that everyone else is subpar. I shared this good news with my class, explaining that we now know why I am a mediocre teacher and they are mediocre students. It's not our fault, it's human nature. They were shooting a Colin Farrell movie a block away from my school, and I walked over to Gawk. There were a lot of wannabe Colin Farrell groupies out there, and when I found him, I can see why. Surprisingly nice fellow. Movie seems to be about killing people. Barely a hint of an Irish accent. We're on the set of uh, Dead Man Down. Mr. Farrell, are you the dead man or are you gonna make the dead man go down? Well, it's close to the end of the week. I feel pretty dead. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm an extremely popular guy. My many friends love me and both males and females like to cozy up to me when they get the chance. For a while in the 1980s, I lived in a group house in North Philadelphia and was hoping to see four of my old roomies again. Doug Martinson was there, and Kurt soon arrived with his lovely daughter, Marcia. A block away, a group art show was opening and two of my other ex-roommates were exhibiting. Pat Connors had a lame excuse and wasn't there. But Stanley Beelan was, and it was great to see him again. Hello, John. <laughs> we had all gone to the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. Recently, the Academy added two outdoor sculptures on Cherry Street between their landmark Frank Furness building and their relatively new Hamilton building. One of these is a giant paintbrush by world-famous artist Kleiss Oldenburg. The other sculpture was created by a recent Academy graduate named Jordan Griska. Over dinner and at the art opening, I heard various opinions about these sculptures. This is when my mind seized on a line from an old prayer I used to say regularly in my long ago days as a practicing Episcopalian. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. Even though I have met and filmed Jordan and his sculpture has been up for quite a while, I had never actually walked over to see it. So when the evening's festivities came to a close, I did just that. I think this sculpture is 
something that makes you stop and think, makes you stop your normal walking in center city Philadelphia and come here and look at it closer. Nice, Dad. That was, that was good. Well, I love terrariums. I am wondering why it's a terrarium. I'm still putting that one together, but it's nice to see the, the green, you know, in the middle of the sidewalk. I mean, why not a terrarium who doesn't like terrariums? I love, I love the plane. Jordan's artwork is magnificent, inspired, moving, and I feel like a fool for procrastinating so long. I may indeed have left undone this thing which I ought to have done for far too long, but at least now I know there's a reason for it. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou those, O God, who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Upon sober reflection, I realize that this movie is filled with statements which I ought not to have made, and that it is missing statements which I ought to have made. My students are in fact not mediocre. I told them that because I was angry that they were on Facebook instead of paying attention to me. I now know that I didn't actually meet Colin Farrell at all, but just fantasized that my friend Mark Thelman was the great Irish thespian. And I wanted to add that it's not just Jordan Griska, but almost all my artist friends who appeared in this movie who are superb. Kurt Sompson, Elizabeth Wilson, Richard Rank, Sid Carpenter, Pat Connors, and Stanley Beelan are just great. My friend Doug Martinson complained that I am too effusive with my praise. So even though I think he's great too, I will say that he is merely very good. <laughs>